So now let's see how we can work around with the fusion shape expand uh, node over here in the fusion piece of DaVinci Resolve. So for that, I'm going to go around under the effects and go to tools right here. And once I go around over there, let me just go around onto shape and then bring in a shape like a star right here. So there's a star shape and I'm just going to go around and then bring in a render node over here. So this is what I have. Uh, just like this. So I'm going to bring the S render, connect out the star to the S render, connect it out to merge and it merges out with the background and you can see the star right here. But for the star, I'm going to go around and add in, uh, let's say, an expand uh, node over here as well. So here you can see X. Uh, S expand is an option so you can go around add in this node and before this goes to the render I'm going to connect the star to the S expand and then to the render node right here. Nothing seems to have happened much right now but if I were to go around on to expand then you can see I can work around with the amount of expand right here. I, I can expand out the shape and then decrease out the amount of shape as you can see right here. You can go around and choose different border styles as you can see for the expand and you can go around and work around with the effect just like this. So here you can see that this is what you have right here and there's the limit that you can work around with as well and you can work around with expand and everything else right here. Let me just go around on to star and then go around on to style, change around the color let's say for example or just go around and select out a particular color. Then on the expand you can see that the color uh, is changed now and you can work around with different type of expand right here and you can work around with this effect right here according to how you want. So this is more of a software expand as you can see right here and by applying keyframe to it you can animate them as well. So what is happening over here is there's this star shape right here and it is going on to this expand node which is adding on the effect for the expansion as you can see right here for this particular shape and then it is rendering the shape and that is being merged with the background right here. Let me just go around over here and bring in another shape as well, like ellipse right here, just like this. So from the ellipse, I'm just going to go around and use something called shape merge. So from the expand, I'm going to go to shape merge and then go to render right here because when I want two shapes, I do need to work around with the shape merge. So there's an ellipse and over here as well, I'm going to add in a shape expand, connect up the ellipse to the shape expand and the expansion goes through uh, the merge right here. So this is what you have as you can see. And then I'm just going to go around and move this shape elsewhere and go to expand. So now you can work around with the amount as you can see right here. And since this is a circle, uh, the other effects does not really make much, uh, much differences right here because it is rounded shape itself. So making it pointy or like uh, more softer doesn't really matter because um, it is equal right here. But you can see that this is how the expansion effect works right here when you add in um, uh, add it on to different shapes right here. So that is how you can work around with the Fusion uh, Shape Expand option inside of Fusion Base in DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.